How important are cultural and ethnic identities in today's increasingly diverse society? I come to the heart of Central Europe, Ukraine, the birthplace of two of my grandparents, to take a closer look at these issues. Here at the Kiev National University of Culture and Arts, journalism students were keen to share their views on culture and diversity in a country of war. I think uh, uh, it changed before the war in the uh, because when I was young it was hard to identify the Ukrainians and Ukrainians for the foreign uh, people because uh, people from the Great Britain, the USA, they didn't know about Ukrainians but now after this war uh, more people became to uh, get more information about us and learn about our country and I think it's great in one way but uh, the, on the other hand it's bad because uh, people from other countries uh, getting to know us uh, through this work. Можливо, я скажу щось стосовно нашого університету, то в нас в університеті є представники всіх таких етнічних груп з України, саме з усіх областей і куточків. І це дуже приємно, тому що The ethnic groups which make up today's Ukraine include Ukrainians, Russians, Crimean Tatar, and Hungarian, Bulgarian and Jewish minorities. But when traveling further east to the industrial city of Kharkiv, visitors encounter more immigrants from African and Asian nations. These people are here to both study and work. Many are followers of iconic East Ukrainian football team, Shakhtar Donetsk, which has always welcomed both foreign players and fans. My travels to Ukraine have shown me that the concept of identity in the very heart of Europe is changing. As more students and workers travel across borders seeking a better life for themselves, their host countries are to some extent embracing the newcomers. For countries such as Ukraine, a youthful, educated workforce is vital. This is why universities and football clubs are beginning to embrace a broader national identity. Thank you for watching and see you next time.